Hi ladies, today we're looking at P16. Explain how plant breeding is used to develop new plant varieties to improve um, product quality, yield and environmental adaptation. So we've got some examples here for us. So environmental adaptation, we've got Drysdale wheat. For quality, we've got McKellar wheat. And then for yield, we've got um, BT cotton. Now, I've got the three different things here. We've got um, McKellar wheat for quality, BT cotton for yield, and um, Drysdale wheat for environmental adaptation down this side here. So we've got a bit of a story for each going across the page. So um, I'll give you a basic rundown. I won't read this word for word, um, but basically um, McKellar wheat was bred um, to have resistance to yellow dwarf virus, okay? Now, basically what they did is that they crossed existing wheat varieties with wild grasses that they found to have resistance. Now, yellow dwarf virus, it affects only living tissue um, and it's transferred by aphids. So it's really, really hard to, to stay away from and it's been a really big problem for a long time. So by crossing existing varieties with wild grasses that had um, resistance, they're able to come up with a res resistant variety known as McKellar. Okay, so that's our first one with quality. Now, BT cotton, we've spoken about this ad nauseum, um, but basically they isolated um, some genes in a bacteria that produced a protein that killed um, heliotha scrubs. Now, they introduced those genes into the cotton plant, and when the grub feeds on it, they die. Um, so this built-in defense allows for greater yield because usually the main area where the grubs are eating are the bowls. So that's the, the fruiting um, part of the plant. So it's actively reducing yield by destroying the bowls. Um, now, the Bacillus thuringiensis, that is the name of the bacteria, okay, that they got the um, genes from. So we call it BT cotton. Um, in honour of the, the bacteria that we've got the genes from. Now these here are some of the different um, types of BT cotton. So we had Ingard, which was version 1, then Bolgard 1, 2 and 3. Um, so increases yield but also has allowed us for an 80% reduction in pesticide usage. Now the final one is Drysdale wheat and that's for environmental adaptation. So basically we crossed um, Australian variety with an ancient Persian variety. So Persia is in the Middle East, so Iran, Iraq, that sort of area. Now the, the genes that we introduced during that cross allowed for a greater water use so meaning that it could grow more with less water. So it has a 10% yield increase in drier conditions. Radio, so that is significant. Um, there's actually new varieties that have even greater um, yield increase than the Drysdale. So Drysdale is a little bit dated, um, but it's still really relevant for us. Radio, that is us done. Hope you're having a good day.